Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here to you guys over a little bit of a tutorial video, guys. This is going to be how to install Mo Creatures for Minecraft 1.4.2, and if the title does say 1.4.3, this does work for Minecraft 1.4.3, uh, or I have linked in the description a video to a video that works for 1.4.3. This process will most likely work for 1.4.3. If you guys don't know about 1.4.3, uh, pretty much it's a new release that's going to be coming out that's going to fix a bunch of mods, uh, or sorry, fix, fix a bunch of uh, bugs, but uh, it should not interfere with any mods. So, if this w does work for the new Minecraft release, it will say it in the title. I wanted to say that right away because it is coming out soon. But uh, anyway, so, uh, I made this video as a tutorial uh, separate from my review of the Mo Creatures mod simply because they are both big things to talk about, guys. The Mo Creatures mod is absolutely huge, there's lots of craftable items in it, lots of things that it does, lots of new animals, and the way of installing it is a lot uh, lengthier than uh, most other mods. Most other mods, you just drag and drop them into the mods folder, drag and drop them into the Minecraft jar, and it's done. This is a few different steps, and uh, does take a little while. So, let's kind of get started. So, pretty much this is our Mo Creatures folder, guys. This contains three files that you guys need to go download. You guys will need to go to the Mo Creatures uh, forum page. This will it will have links to all these uh, different things here. Also, I will link I will direct link the downloads for the ad flies in the description, guys. So you guys can uh, just direct download them from the description, or you guys can go check out the forum page. Either way, so. You guys will need these three files. Custom Mob Spawner 1.7.1. This gives you the ability to, you know, screw with the spawn rates and all that sort of stuff. You got the Do Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures Mod version 1. or 4.1.2. This is basically, you know, the meat and potatoes here. This is the thing that has all the animals, all the different crafting recipes, all that great stuff. And then you have the GUI API, guys. This is the thing that kind of links both of those other things together. It makes them work. Without the GUI API, this will not work, and it will crash. So, now that we have all that stuff, Stuff sort of uh, set up. Now we're going to go into our dot .minecraft folder, guys. So, my dot .minecraft folder that I'm going to be using is inside this folder. It's, as you guys can see, this is dot .minecraft folder, and this is basically an instance of Minecraft. Um, for you guys, your dot .minecraft folder will be here. If you guys go to your search for your start menu, you guys are going to type R U N and then it'll say right here run that's a program right up here you're gonna run that and then it's gonna pop up with this window it's going to have an empty text box right here and what you're gonna type in is the percent sign app data and then the percent sign you guys are gonna hit enter and that's going to open up your roaming folder now that you have your roaming folder open you're gonna type you're gonna click on the top uh, folder right here it's the dot minecraft folder and then this is what you guys will be using so the first step in doing this is you guys will need to install a forge if you guys have not installed forge yet there'll be an annotation on the screen as well as a link in the description linking you guys to a video where I show you guys how to install forge it does work for minecraft 1.4.2 it will say if it will continue to work for minecraft 1.4.3 I'm not going to install or talk about that sort of process right there because that is also another lengthy process as well guys If you guys do need to install forge and you go to that video You do not need to install the mods that I demonstrated there. You guys just need to install forge so now that I've said that, you guys can go check it out there if you haven't installed Forge yet. For those of you who did install Forge, let's continue. So, what you guys are going to need to do is open up your .minecraft folder. Now again, yours will be in your roaming folder. You know, you go to run and you run app data. What you guys are going to need to do is open up your .minecraft folder. You're going to open up your bin folder and then you're going to open up your minecraft.jar. Now to open up your minecraft.jar, you will need WinRAR or 7-zip. I suggest you guys go Google how to get WinRAR or 7-zip if you guys want to. I'm not going to teach you guys how to do that process. Now, you guys are going to open up your GUI API. So this is our, you know, one of our downloads that I told you guys to download previously. GUI API, this is version 0.14.8-1.4.2, guys. So, uh, if there is a newer version of that, I would recommend using the newer version of that. Um, you know, maybe there's some bug fixes or something or something of that nature. So pretty much once that opens up, we're going to take all the files from the GUI API. We're going to drag them over and bring them into the Minecraft.jar. Pretty much this is just giving the Minecraft.jar the ability to run the other mods. Uh, it's just adding in a new API uh, for your GUI, your graphical user interface. And uh, yeah, so now that you've installed that, that is the more difficult part of installing this. 
actually. So now that you have that done, you're going to go back into your dot Minecraft folder, guys. So again, just go right into your dot Minecraft folder, and there's going to be a folder called mods. If you have installed Forge, there'll be a mods folder, and you're going to open up that folder. Now, most likely, your your guys's won't have any uh, mods in here unless you guys have previously installed mods. In which case, that's perfectly fine. You don't need to do anything with them as long as they're compatible with 1.4.2 and they work with Forge. You guys are perfectly fine. So now that you guys are in your mods folder, you guys are going to select your custom mob spawner 1.7.1 and Dr. Uh, Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures mod 4.1.2. When you select that, you're just going to copy them, so right click, and you guys are going to select copy. Why is this going so slow? Wow. So you're going to copy, and then you're going to go over here and you're going to paste them. So I just did Control C, Control V, you guys can right click copy, right click paste. And there you go. So we're pasting them into there. This is weird, I guess. Yes, there we go. So it did copy both of them into there. That's all good. And now we can actually run Minecraft, guys. So I'm going to run it to show you guys that it does in fact work. So for anybody who comments below and says that it doesn't work, you guys will need to help me out here. You guys are going to need to say specific circumstances. Right now I'm running on a Windows computer. I'm running Windows 7 64-bit. So anybody in my circumstances who installed the same, uh, using the same versions of the software as me, it should work for you guys. As you guys can see, it launched here. We can go check out the mods. And as you guys can see, Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures mod, uh, it did work. It's all, it's all there. It's working. We guys, we can actually go into single player. We'll open that up, and as you guys can see, uh, we actually have an egg here, so I can actually spawn in crocodiles and whatnot. So this did in fact work, guys. It is, it is a working install. So if you guys do have problems, I will help you, but you guys need to give me something. So you guys are gonna need to tell me what version of Minecraft you're running, what version of the Mo creatures you tried to install, what version of the GUI API. As you guys can see, it's a fox there. Uh, there's some cats some cats over here and all that great stuff um, you guys can go check out all of the stuff that they have added in butterflies horses all the stuff that they've added into the mod in my review video which I will link on screen um, and yeah so if you guys have any troubles just make sure you tell me exactly what all the versions and stuff that you're running uh, there is a few default off the bat troubleshooting things that I will tell you like delete your entire dot minecraft folder reinstall minecraft do a force update of minecraft you guys can do a bunch of that stuff if you guys previously have installed forge try and reinstall forge and see if that's the problem maybe you installed forge on a you know older version um, as long as you guys are running forge 6.0.1 it should be working and uh, polar bears so yeah so anyway guys hopefully you did enjoy this video if you guys did uh, get Forge successfully installed remember guys to leave a like rating if you guys uh, did learn something leave a like that'd be awesome you guys can also subscribe above to join the nation if you already haven't and uh, yeah so follow me on Twitter all that great stuff I'm the doctor and I'm out peace Anyway, guys, hopefully, again, you did enjoy this video. If you guys didn't remember to leave a like rating, it's greatly appreciated. Also, you can subscribe above to join the nation and be updated on my daily Minecraft and other gaming-related videos. As well, on screen is going to be a link to my new show, Minecraft 1.4. Guys, you guys can go check it out. It's the number one source for all things in Minecraft, guys. I'm talking about mods, spotlights of all sorts. And, uh, yeah, so you guys can check it out. Subscribe over there if you want as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and see all my daily updates as well. Anyway, guys, I'm the Doctor, and I'm out. Peace.